What's up you guys? So in today's video, as you can see by the title, I will be trying out the new makeup bullet. I picked this up a few weeks ago and I have yet to use it. So I was like, why not do it on camera and see if it was a good pickup or not. So let's just try it out and see if it's comparable to the beauty blender or if I should just stick to the beauty blender or if it's better. We're gonna try this thing out together, you guys. Hopefully it was worth the purchase. Um, I spent, so I just got the pack of one, which was $15. They have packs of three, which I believe is $24. But yeah, I just got one and it looks like this. So let's just go ahead and try it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the packaging. So it looks like this, you guys. It's so small and cute. So for me, knowing I'm right-handed and knowing I use my index finger for everything, I'm gonna put it on my index finger. And it fits snug, like it says in the box. The box says, fits snugly on the finger for absolute control, flawlessly blends on every part of the face, frees hands to hold other stuff as well, and it's soft and gentle on the skin. So let's just test this out to see if the box is true to its word. So it fits snug, and this is before I even dampen it. So what you do is you want to put a little bit of water on this. You're not supposed to like put it under the water faucet and like squeeze it out to make it really, really wet. You just want it a little bit damp. So obviously, I can keep this on my finger while I'm doing other things, like the box said, so they weren't lying about that. It's just like there, like, I'm just putting my foundation on and it's just there, like chilling on my finger, like, what's up? You gonna use me or, <laughs> like, Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start blending my foundation. Okay, so pause. It feels a little like flimsy like it feels like it's slipping down but it's not it's really weird but I think it's because of my nails my nails are long so what I'm gonna try to do is put it back on it's like it has a pointy top but your finger doesn't go into the pointy top if that makes sense like the fabric stops like right here so that's where my finger stops and then I have my nails so it really stops like right here so it's just like <laughs> but I'm gonna try to like I don't know. I'm gonna try to hold it like this. This looks really weird, but I want it to have a good grip on it. So, yeah, that feels better. So, let me finish blending. Okay, so it blended. I mean, it doesn't look bad, you guys. Um, so far, I would say that a beauty blender might be a little quicker just because, I don't know, it's just, almost in a way, it's a little uncomfortable to just, you know, keep and holding it like this especially, but I feel like if I just have it on my finger, it's not gonna blend right. Like I like, I like to have pressure while I'm blending, so maybe that's why. But if you're not that type of person, I'm very particular. So if you're not that type of person, then it should be fine for you. But as far as blending, it did blend it pretty good. So next, I'm gonna move on to my concealer. 
And I'm just gonna put that on as normal and I'm gonna blend it out with the makeup bullet. Okay, so for this part, for concealer, it is hard to get under the eyes with that beauty blender. So I have high hopes for this, and I think it'll be easier using this makeup bullet. So let's just see. I'm going to hold it the same way as I was. So I can actually press it on. I like how this is going on. It's like, it's so small, like it can fit in small places. Like, I like that. You can go sideways. Oh Lord. I'm catching a finger cramp, y'all. Hold up, my hand is aching. Give me a second. Okay, let's go. We're gonna finish this off, you guys. smooth it doesn't look patchy blotchy hmm. okay so I'm gonna flip it to the other side and I'm gonna bake yes okay It goes on so smooth, you guys. And it covers like a large part at a time. Like. I'm just baking all my highlight points. I'm gonna look at it away, guys. Okay, and after all that, it's still snug on my finger. Like, it's not going nowhere at all. Like, <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face real quick. Okay, so I'm back with a full face, and I think it looks pretty good. For my contour, I did not use the makeup bullet. I used the regular brush. Same for my highlight. So everything else was used with the makeup bullet. So this is how it looks. I think it looks good. I think it came out pretty good. My skin looks smooth, vibrant. I would definitely use the makeup bullet and the beauty blender both. Um, I don't see a problem with using the makeup bullet instead of a beauty blender. To me, it worked just as well. It is a slightly different material. Um, this feels a little bit more flimsy in a way, but that does not change the results of my makeup. Okay, because I think this came out pretty good. And I didn't have to use the Beauty Blender at all like to even bring it together. Like all of my makeup was pretty much the makeup bullet, you know, besides my contour, but I just used the brush just in that section. So yeah, you guys, I think it came out pretty good. I really feel like it was worth my purchase. Like it's not blotchy, it just looks very smooth and clear. This was my review and demo on the makeup bullet. If you've used it, drop down in the comments if it worked for you. If you use something else similar to a beauty blender that also worked, let me know because I want to try it. <laughs> so yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.